Welcome to our channel www.news.co.id Hello, what's up guys? Meet with me again in new CNC channel. Okay, uh, in this video or in this tutorial, I will resume our work uh, in the MP3 player project using Visual Basic. In the last video, we has been code for volume button and now uh, I want to code for set the audio or mp3 for auto play in forward mode y you know uh, if usually we play uh, some music then uh, it will automatic playing uh, with random or forward but uh, in this case or in this tutorial uh, I want to uh, using forward uh, button so uh, if in this button has been click uh, it will make auto play with uh, forward mode in our mp3 player project now uh, let's do that we need to adding uh, first is timer guys you can just uh, type timer like this you can double click like this or just uh, drag and drop uh, I want to set off timer is to T set play like this okay you can see I will enter now you can also click uh, the enable from false to true to activate this timer okay uh, the number second you want to i'm sorry you want to do is click on the forward and then just uh, click on even like a thunder symbol like this guys <laughs> you can see here Okay, in the click event, you can just double click here. Okay, first we need to set uh, the value of this LBL for repeat. You can see here, the LBL for repeat is this guys. We will to configure our setting based on this value. So uh, be careful with this. After you double click. In here in click uh, even in BT forward you just to do is LBL for this is this mean is for what or repeat guys okay dot text I will uh, set the value using F as string like this back in here after that after we click if this something uh, R or F if we click forward it will be F okay so uh, after we have uh, this condition like this then we can double click in the test set play in here okay double click on your timer so uh, let's do good make make audio play in for auto forward like this for example okay I will do good if this is conditional statement for uh, LBL for repeat because we have value if condition is F then okay just need to uh, using X Windows Media Player please state on here guys stop MP uh, stop it where is the stop Okay. 
okay uh, I will uh, describe this for short you can see if our label for repeat or LBL for repeat the value is F and the condition is true because uh, this value is F and next or then we have also the condition again uh, if we empty place that is top then we need to uh, using selected index of uh, list box by guys This is for out post for audio position that uh, in the previous video we just uh, adding that sub guys or variable I mean you can see out post is referred to our previous code okay this is for variable out post uh, if you don't clear uh, you can preview in the uh, video before this video okay uh, for the URL it's uh, equal to C type Resume dot full name and for else is uh, we just uh, make the value of uh, selected index of list box to zero if the audio file is the end or in the last uh, file so we can back to index 0 to back in the first song again and don't forget to uh, adding audio position I'm sorry okay in here also audio position is referred to our sub to get uh, the position of selected index this guys okay uh, before uh, I do this I want to uh, change this value to R to make uh, this condition of timer is false. Okay, I want to make this for R, R for repeat. So uh, we don't have configure the repeat button, but uh, in the forward button in the first. And now I will to uh, show what the difference if the value is true and the uh, false let's start okay in here I will play uh, the shortest audio this is for example because the condition for what is false you can see the value if is uh, for LBL for and repeat is R so the forward condition is false it will not execute by the timer if I play in this condition it, it will just play uh, the three number but uh, just one time play not a repeat but if later I will click forward or I, I will I click forward then it will play automatically uh, forward in the playlist let's uh, do this is before condition so I guess just uh, let the first song is finished
okay uh, you can see in there uh, because the condition is false uh, the media player just play uh, the number three in one time okay uh, you can see the media player is stopped nothing uh, audio has play again or play again and let's see if forward button uh, we make this condition to F so uh, the condition of timer is true You can see in there after uh, the playlist is play in the number three and then uh, it play automatically in number four okay I will read some uh, let's see what happened if we play in the uh, number last of uh, audio playlist in here if we play uh, in the last audio and for forward this condition is true uh, show the show uh, back to number one after this play on the last let's just
okay guys i think it's too long if we play all the song you can see after uh, the media player play in the last uh, playlist it will back automatically and play in the number one so uh, our code is finished till this for uh, this button for watch okay uh, in the next video or in the next tutorial we will uh, to resume the repeat button how to configure the repeat button so we can play uh, for example if number two uh, it will play infinite in the number two will repeat uh, all all the time before we click in forward again so uh, it will play in the number two until we click the forward that's all uh, for today for forward button in the next we will go to repeat so uh, you can download uh, this code in the www dot news dot go dot id slash web slash cb okay uh, download search code guys and don't forget to subscribe to get uh, notification about our mp3 player project in visual basic thanks for watching and bye bye